Hey you guys, it's your girl Scorpio Jewel here. We're about to drop our daily guardian angel oracle message of the day, of the day, of the day, a, 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 of the day. Excuse me. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. Like, share, and subscribe. When I get into the tarot, there is no gender, okay? We're dealing with energy, masculine and feminine. Anybody can embody any of them at any time, okay? We all have all the zodiac signs in our chart, some more prevalent than others, okay? So with that being said, let's jump and get us one guardian angel. What's going on for the collective? What's happening? One... Okay, one off the top. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guardian Angel Hariel. Hariel. Okay. Guardian Angel Hariel. That is the number 59. Breaks down to the number 14, which is the major arcana in the tarot of temperance. And it's in the upright. Let's see what it is here Harrell he is an avid learner wishing to be trained in all the sciences enormously charismatic he stands out for his virtue noble spirit jovial mood and bravery his spirituality is so deep that he is open to teachings from divine sources he could be a healing channel or paint channeled pictures through working with oracles at a mature, okay, let me read that over. He could be a healing channel or paint channeled pictures through working with oracles. At a mature age, he unexpectedly wins or earns money he uses mainly to fulfill the mission of his earthly existence. Woo! Okay. Attribute. God who knows all things. The planet is Venus, the angelic choir of virtues. The ruling hour from 7.20 p.m. to 7.40 p.m. Reasons for invoking. To enhance the fertility of all living things. To find valuable objects that have been lost. To make children co cooperate with their parents. To help those who work in stock exchanges, archives, and libraries, and also collectors. All right. So let's see what we got. We're going to use these decks. All right. How real. What are the messages for the collective, baby? What we got for the day, for the day, a, a. What we got for the day, for the day, a, 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 a. <laughs> All right. There's no reverses in this deck. What are we going to roll with? Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Ooh, Chad. Knight of Cups. Four of Wands. Okay, let's do this like this. All right. Now, what you here for? One more sign for the one sign. All right. So, what it looks like here is that you've come out of some type of burden here. Okay? And now you're happy. You got the four wands here, you know, at the end, you know, you went on and, and it started something, you know, took your passion and your love for something or someone and went somewhere else and, you know, and now you're happy, you're stable, you know what I'm saying? You took your cup of love, your passion, your drive or whatever, just to, to brighter pastures right here, 
This is happiness. This is celebration. Stability. Okay. You come up out of this five of pentacles, this lack, and these burdens. Okay. Okay. Upon clarification, the story may change. Okay. This arch, uh, arch angel, angel. This guardian angel is brave, jovial, you know, charismatic. Stands out for his virtue and noble spirit. Smart, open to knowledge. Okay. Want to learn from everywhere. And he earned money from being a channel. Okay. What's this five of pentacles? Let's use the Kipper. Going with the chippers. There's no reversals in this deck either. Well, it's gonna look pretty. It's gonna be a pretty little layout. <laughs> Let's clarify. What's the five of pentacles? Because this is lack. This is money problems. This is loss. This is brokenness. Uh, physically, like this person' leg is broke. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no shoes on out there. They out in the cold. They, they ain't inside the church. They on the outside of the church. And the money and whatever, the stability, the, the, um, uh, pentacles. The money, the stability, the, um, oh God, I can't think of the word. But that's all on the inside. And they on the outside. So what's this five of pentacles? People are battered and bruised out here. It's cold. It looks like they in in snow. You know, these cards, they have different drawings on them. You have to look at the pictures. Okay, five of pentacles. Thank you. Work occupation. Okay. So, yeah. That is the number 34, which, um, that's the number four, which, um, that, that's the number 34. That breaks down to the number seven, the major arcana of the chariot. Like I said, you gonna head on over here. Drop some burden or something. We finna see. Work occupation. So work wasn't going well, you know, uh, probably wasn't making no money, you know, or probably not making no money, whatever, just at a standstill here, you know, let's see, court, okay, so that is the number 23, that breaks down to the major arcana of the hierophant, so you made a decision. Okay, uh, about a work situation. Okay, about your job because it wasn't, wasn't giving you what you desired here. You weren't getting what you were supposed to get. It was lack of funds here. Maybe you maybe you were doing more work and wasn't getting the, the you know, you weren't fairly getting compensated about it. You know what I'm saying? Or it just wasn't the right position for you, period. You know what I'm saying? So you had to make a decision here at court. You know, a firm decision too with this higher firm. Okay, so... What's this ten of wands? So I feel like he dropped it. But we're going to see. Ten of wands. You got to have to drop it because you wouldn't be at the four of wands at the end. So let's go. Yep. Hope. Big water. Number 36. Breaks down to the number nine. The Hermit, Major Arcana in the Tarot of the Hermit, okay? Took some introspection, you know, made that decision. Like I said, decision right here. You took some introspection right here, you know, came up with some type of plan. You did something here, you know what I'm saying? 
Because you got hopes for something else. Then you had to go ahead and make that decision to drop these, these wands. It was too heavy. It's a burden here. You had to drop it. This is the work situation. This card is in the nighttime. So you probably think about this in the nighttime a lot. You know. You know, this person's so weighed down, they can't even see in front of them. The wands is wearing them down so bad that his head ain't even up. He's just looking at the ground. You can't even see what's in front of you. You know? Had to drop that shit. Moving right on along to the Knight of Cups. Ain't nothing else to be said right there. Knight of Cups. So you took your passion elsewhere. Or maybe you was giving too much to this job. You know, too, you, you was invested too much emotionally into this job. Or this business, whatever. You know, it's your work, it's your occupation. Because this is a night of cups. Cups is emotions. You know, feelings. Court person. Okay? Like an a advocate, a judge counsel you know what i'm saying number 30 breaks down to the major arcana of the empress maybe you consulted with yourself consulted with somebody that's important in your life somebody that um has an influence over your over your life let's see here But see, there's a little elf in this, um, there's a little elf in the judges. See that? There's a little elf in his ear. But I don't think, I just noticed that, but I don't think that has anything to do with this because the four of wands wouldn't be here. So this is going to be, if that, that's unfair judgment, that's somebody putting something in somebody's ear, maybe a payoff or some shit like that, but that ain't got nothing to do with that right here. So, let's go. Yeah, it's sneaky people. This person ain't even got a face. This is a jackal or some fucking shit, an animal right there, and then it's a green person right here, jealous people. This is like, ooh, I see that. Yeah. And it's a peacock in there, like things ain't what they seem. Now, hold on now, let's see. False person. Oh, my goodness. What in the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is happening? Mm-mm-mm. Oh, okay. And that's the number eight. That's the major arcana of strength. Huh. Give me one more card for this Knight of Cups. This some fake fraudulent ass person acting like they important or whatever. And they ain't even fucking important. They a liar. They fucking... Oh, shit. Somebody coming to try to trip you up, nigga. This guardian angel here again. Man, what is happening here, baby? Somebody coming to try to trick you up there. Collective what's happening? Meetings. The number four. And that is the major arcana of the empress. Somebody coming. Trying to present themselves as something that they are not. Okay? Male or female. On in any way. And this is at a gathering, a social setting, or something like that. Because this is a gathering and celebration right here. And this is a, this is a meeting, a gathering, a, a, you know what I'm saying? A rendezvous, you know, a, a public place, a social setting. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> what is this garden angel with, bro? <laughs> okay. What? 
us. Okay. Let me mow for this for a while. Somebody coming trying to finesse you, dog. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? You done took another occupation because it wasn't working out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, you dropped that burden or whatever. This person makes money. This is about money. You see what I'm saying? They got the coins right here. And like I said, it make money through this person makes money. Through a, being a healing channel or a painting channel pictures through working with oracles. You know, he wins or earn money and he use, he unexpectedly wins or earns money. He use, he uses mainly to fulfill the mission of his earthly existence. Yo, somebody coming to try to finesse you, dog. For real. They see you like, oh yeah. Four one. And it's going to be at some type of social setting or something like that. They come and trying to offer their little funky ass cup of love to you. This person is false as fuck. Acting like they important. Like they that nigga or they that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Look, all in the motherfucking ear like I said. And this person ain't even a person. This person is green and shit like that. You know what I'm Oh, wow. Damn. You know, and they a false person. You know what I'm saying? And number eight, strength. You know what I'm saying? They coming hard too. You know what I'm saying? Really trying to lay on the bullshit to you like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like they thing or something, male or female. You feel me? At a gathering, a social meeting, you know what I'm saying? A social place. You know what I'm saying? Putting on the front like they an empress or an emperor around this motherfucker. They false as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> yeah, fake ass motherfucker trying to come and finesse you, but your guardian angel gonna protect your funds here, darling. You feel me? Oh, this, this card is on the... Let's see what this is. Expectation. And I don't know where that was supposed to go, but that's what came out right there. I'm going to put it back. And that is the number 28 breakdown to the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, somebody is trying to come around here and motherfucking finesse you because they see that you can change jobs around this motherfucker or whatever the fuck. And they see you as big hope, a big opportunity and shit and want to come over here and try to fuck you over, trying to finesse you out your bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The fuck? Four wands. Now I'm back looking at this five of pentacles. Okay. This could be, you know what I'm saying? This person over here, this false ass person. They broke, and they, they ain't making no money at, at their job or whatever. So they making a motherfucking decision, which is the number 23. Which breaks down to the number five of the higher fin. That's commitments or whatever the fuck. And this uh, work occupation card is the number 34. Breaks down to the chariot. So they want to come over here like when this knight of cups energy chariot coming on this motherfucking horse. Come over here to you offering you some type of fucking relationship or whatever. Higher fin. 32 breaks down to the higher fin. Trying to offer you some type of motherfucking relationship, some motherfucking commitment or some motherfucking shit like that. But they fake as hell. They fraud as hell. They not who the fuck they say they is and shit. They burden them way down and they look at you like the big hope, the big motherfucking prize right here. Like this is going to get them out. They burden some fucking ways. But this angel right here is here to help you protect your coins. You see that? His coins. Motherfucker. Get the hell out of here. Four ones. Fake ass. This done piss me off. This some fake ass shit right here, dog. You want to come over here and try to finesse and present yourself as something, but you you a bum. You broke. You fucked up over here. Trying to come over here and hijack them, another motherfucker shit. Four ones. And the bitch think they gonna be victorious stuff and like it's gonna make them happy or whatever the fuck. We gonna see. Let me quit talking. Because I didn't think that little thing had something to do with something. Talk. Baby, bye. You why you got to look at these pictures, man. 
fuck out of here. Clown. What's this shit? Male or female? Shit. Clown shit. Receiving a gift. That's the number 17. Is that the... That's that's a star card. Yep, the star card. G! And then if you want to break that down, that's the number 8. That is strength. That's Aquarius and Leo energy. The star card is Aquarius energy. The uh, 8, the strength is a Leo energy. Bitch, get your goofy ass. You got Libra on the board. Taurus on the board. Leo. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? Virgo. The fuck? It's heavy earth on this board. Yeah, this person coming all about some money. Because earth signs is all about money. You got Taurus on this board. Heavy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. What's this um four of wands? Fuck going on here? Somebody trying to finesse you, dog. <laughs> My nigga. Okay. <laughs> what? I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> Come on, this is your gift, shit. Not theirs, goddamn. Fuck these people. Don't you let them get you. Well, they ain't gonna get you because you got your guardian angel right here protecting your bag. Like this person, would, it would make them so happy. Like it would give them stability. It will make them so happy, you know what I'm saying? If they can, if they can, you know what I'm saying? If they can uh, get you receiving a gift, you know, it, it don't necessarily have to be a gift right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a gift of stability, success, happiness. You see what I'm saying? It, look at all these eyeballs in here. People looking, people watching. Motherfuckers see what the hell is going on here. And motherfuckers want to be, they want to be looked at like they successful. They want to be looked at like they having a great time, like they living a life and every damn thing else like that. That's how they want to look. That's how they want to present themselves and look to motherfuckers and shit. But this is a fake ass person right here. This person is broke. This person is fucked up. This person is a liar. This person ain't shit. Period. You know what I'm saying? Do we got anything else for this four of wands? And it's a zebra in this car. A zebra never changes his motherfucking stripes. So this is somebody that you knew before. This is somebody from before. God damn it. Trying to come on back up in here. Trying to present themselves like they some something else around here. You see this zebra? The, the, the zebra don't change his lion. What the fuck they say? They don't change their damn stripes right here. And this sneaky ass fucking cat back here. Yeah. The fuck out of here trying to finesse your ass and get your bag. Get the fuck out of here. House. Bitch. <laughs> Facts. Stability. Right here. This is somebody from the fucking past. A broke, busted, disgusted ass motherfucker over here trying to act like they in boss mode. Like they own some shit over here. Trying to come and finesse you with a promise of commitment or whatever the fuck. Love. I love you or whatever the fuck. And some shit like that. Or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be a new motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a cat in here. You know what I'm saying? Cats are sneaky and, st and stealthy, motherfucker. It could be a new motherfucker too. Over here trying to get your shit. Your house, your stability, your home life. They want that shit. Look at this shit. A court person. This, 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 look at this. This ain't even a, a real person face. This person got a motherfucker in their ear. A goddamn, this, these people back here green as fuck. They envious. They watching. They lurking. These eyeballs and shit. This false ass person. Right here. It said right there. Sneaky ass foxes. You see that shit? Fuck out of here. Meetings. Gatherings. 
celebration, whatever. Man, look. <laughs> That's what's happening, goddammit. Somebody trying to motherfucking come out, you know what I'm saying? Either a new motherfucker see you as some type of fucking opportunity and they want to come up in here and try to finesse you by lying and, and presenting themselves as something that they not in order to gain some type of notoriety, some motherfucking fame, some fucking celebration, some type of accolade, some type of something. They want to gain some stability, something from your motherfucking ass. Everybody's situation is different. Or it might be you on this bullshit with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Tiss, tiss to you though. Hmm. So, now, that is what's going on here. However, you do have your guardian angel, Harrell, here. Okay? And like I said, that's the number 14. And that's temperance. 59 breaks down to the number 14. And that's temperance. You got protection. Okay? You protected from this fraud ass shit right here. You know? And you got the patience. You you balanced in this whole motherfucking situation right here. This 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 thing ain't even finna affect you no type of motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just told you what's coming. <laughs> but even if you even if you didn't see this, you already, you know, got the temperance on your side right here. So you already protected whether you know this is coming or not. You good. This is not going to be successful here. But this is what they coming for. Fake ass motherfuckers. All right. And that's male or female. You know what I'm saying? That go all kind of damn ways. And everybody in between. You know what I'm saying? Frauds is frauds. People be out here trying to fuck people over. Trying to come in because they fucked up. And they want, they want something that you got and shit. And they willing to do damn near anything to fucking do it. Lie, cheat, steal, present themselves as... As something that they motherfucking not. Mm-hmm. Offering a fake ass cup of love. You know what I'm saying? A fake ass um commitment. This could be a business opportunity too. You never know. You know? Because this is uh, the hierophant is is commitments, it's institutions, you know what I'm saying? It's businesses and uh, this can go a whole lot of damn ways. Y'all know what I'm saying right here. I'm finna get up out of here though. You know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to finesse your ass. Either a business wise or or a relationship where somebody is coming to try to fucking finesse you because they fucked up and burdened down right here. Okay? So, check out my daily affirmation, meditation, and crystal cards. I do them Monday through Friday to help you start your day in the most beautiful and positive way on purpose with purpose. So, with that being said, I'll check you guys out later. Again, if it don't apply, let it fly. Don't try to make some shit fit. Okay? If it don't fit, you must quit. OJ. Peace.